Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about job security. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, do software engineers have great job security? Yes, pretty much. I mean, if you're good, if you are real, if you are good, just at, both at the technical level, and you are good with the soft skills. If you are like a, I'm, the, I'm sorry to say that this is, there's not that many people who are good in both of these areas. You just have to be a mix of both. You don't have to be 50-50, but you need to be good enough so that people know that when you get your hands on the keyboard, magic happens. And they also know that if they put you into a meeting room, the customer will say yes every single time because they are just starstruck by how senior you are and you know how to say all the buzzword and you, buzzwords and you actually know what they mean. So that gives credibility to you. If you can do those two things, you can do practically anything. You will get away with shit. You have no idea the stuff that you will get away with. Actually, at my last job, we used to, me and my old co-workers, we used to joke uh, quite a few times about it was a miracle that I was not, fi that I didn't get fired. Like I did stuff that you have, you have no idea. And at that point I didn't even have the sort of seniority that I'm describing. I didn't have a fraction of that. Shit, I wish I still had, I wish I had it today because then I can really do some stuff. And I mean, if, uh, if, uh, you, if if you are worried that you will get fired as a senior software developer and you know your stuff, like that's the thing, you need to know your stuff. You need to understand what your market value is. You need to market value. You need to understand market value. You need to understand what your value in the company is, and you need to understand your projected value. Like because the thing is, it doesn't matter if you're the greatest motherfucker ever lived at coding if nobody knows, because then you're just as person that is disposable but when people can appreciate the value that you might be bringing you're pretty much um, made of teflon yeah you might get chewed out and that has happened for sure not to me of course to a friend of mine who is a real douchebag but it does happen and the uh, the thing is that it's really rare that you it actually goes anywhere if you're asking on the other hand about job security from the perspective of like long term like and so forth you should know that just as with everything when you get a little bit older your job security your market value might start dropping and this is what i've said a few times in a few other videos that the way that you that you mitigate this is to keep your skills fresh and relevant and not neglecting your soft skills because the thing is the older you get the more experienced you get as well if you're paying attention if you're not paying attention and you're kind of just putting your nose to the Groundstone and just what looking at uh, your terminal and posting weird comments on some poor motherfucker who's just doing this for fun videos where you complain about the font size that he's using or the font style uh, instead of paying attention to the shit that matters, then you're never going to go anywhere and you're going to get fired because at a certain point, all the 20 or 30 somethings they're going to catch up to you and they're going to be able to do the job that you're doing and most of the time your experience isn't all that great so that like the way off the, the cost value uh, ratio is completely off uh, so you need to be a little bit watchful of that thing but if you do manage your career in a really f efficient way uh, you will have pretty stable job uh, job security for the rest of your life what's even more fun is that the progression prospects for you is sky high when you get to be a little bit older when you get to the point if you keep if you're really paying attention and you get to the point where people actually understand that well you're not just a software developer anymore you're actually a, a, you're a serious senior developer who has the ability to manage projects and stakeholders and stuff like that then like the, the sky is the limit for you you can go up into management and become a cto or, a, or an architect or whatever like people like you or you can just start your own company become a consultant there are people will pay out the nose to buy from uh, to buy expertise from somebody who really knows their shit go and do the thing that the tech talkers are doing if you haven't noticed the vast majority of the architects and like the really really good like a good tech doctor tech talkers they're in their fucking 50s like everybody say uh, there's tons of people out there on the internet who's saying that oh yeah i'm 50 or i'm like you're uh, getting to be too old to be in the software game and i kind of go well go and do some tech talks go to the go to conference and 
and cash in on all that experience, you need to get your name out there so people realize that you're not an old fart, you're actually a knowledgeable professional. If you can do that, they're gonna start calling again. So what I want you to take away from this is that software engineers, yes, they have a fairly high level of job security and I'm raising my finger now and I'm saying the good ones. The good ones do that. And these are the people who really, really pay attention when the uh, uh, to like progress and when they're progressing through their career and they don't get tunnel vision on like arbitrary little small things or they don't like just become code monkeys or stuff like that you need to have relevant hard skills technical skills and relevant social skills if you can combine these two things and you can keep uh, pay attention and be involved uh, as long uh, as you progress through your career, you're going to have an enormous value, and you will not believe the shit that you can get away with when you're equally good at producing results and making sure that people know how valuable those results are. If you have these two things, you can do a lot of stuff. But I will tell you about that another time. Have a great day.